Hello everyone, welcome to Beach Investing, the Beach Investing Legal Series with Shell Rothman. Uh, I'm your host, Andre Jokowski. Uh, today we're talking about and or assigns or uh, in trust. So what I mean by that is uh, investors uh, normally when they put in offers, they put their names in and they put in and or assigns or in trust. Their, their intention is to potentially transfer their name to another name or a corporation. So to get into the technicality, Shiel, please tell us why do uh, lawyers or even buyers recommend doing this? So one of the main benefits is if you are buying a property, uh, there's a few issues. You want to enter into a joint venture. You want to uh, incorporate a company down the road. You have somebody, for instance, you're buying it with your wife. Your wife is overseas on holiday and she's not around to sign documentation. If you have on the buyer name, uh, your name, so like Shale Rothman in trust or Shale Rothman and or assigns, it gives you the opportunity at a later point in time before closing to actually be in a scenario where you can name exactly who you want to be the purchasers of the property. So it gives you that flexibility that if I'm buying it as Shale Rothman in trust and I want it to be in a number corporation, the seller is obligated to allow it to go into that corporation. The other issue is when you're dealing with financing. Yeah. You're dealing with the banks, the banks don't want it to go into a corporation or they want it to be in multiple people's names. You have complete flexibility now, especially on an investor standpoint, to put that property in any name that you so choose. Uh, the biggest thing is there's only two ways that you can actually change the ownership for an agreement of purchase and sale. On the actual agreement of purchase and sale itself or through the lawyers through what they call a direction for title. So whoever signed it, so if I signed at Shale Rothman and Trust, then in a direction for title, I would say, okay, well, I want Shale Rothman and Trust to now be my numbered corporation instead of Shale Rothman and Trust. The only problem is, is the banks really want the agreement of purchase and sale to be modified. So by having this as Shale Rothman and Trust or and or signs, the seller is obligated to allow that amendment to happen. Okay, so I've tried this several occasions, and for some reason the seller or the selling agent just don't like it. They're like, no, our lawyer will scratch that out. We don't want this in there. It's too much of a risk for the seller. Why is that? When you are the seller, the risk that is imposed on you is that whoever's on the agreement of purchase and sale, if the buyer does not complete the transaction, then these are the individuals that you would be able to go after through the courts in order to seek retribution, okay? So the problem that arises is that if you are able to have an interest and modify who the purchaser is, the fear is that the buyer will find somebody who is going bankrupt or has no assets whatsoever that they can end up saying, okay, well, I can't close this transaction. Let's put it in your name. So now nobody has any liability. So that is the main fear of a seller, which if you know that going into your deal, you can overcome these issues. Okay. Uh, is there any way to kind of uh, help the seller understand that that won't happen or what's the way to protect the seller in that scenario? Usually if you're dealing with uh, real estate agents who on the seller side who are educated with investment properties or this type of thing, you're not going to have an issue. When you deal with agents who have no idea and haven't dealt with this before, it's the fear of the unknown. Right. So it's educating them as to the reasons why. Um, one thing that you could do is put a clause in there that says that uh, you will remain liable for the transaction until such time as it closes, okay. um, even if you are assigning it to somebody else, and that would give them a little bit more comfort that had you just put it in your own name, at least you'd still be liable and they could come after you. Okay. Thank you, Shell. No problem. And that was part three. See you next time.